Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's April. I'm going to be talking to you today about some ColourPop products that I've picked up recently. I have some face products, some eye products, and some lip products. And all those together are what got my look today. So I'm very excited to share that with you. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, go ahead and stay tuned. Real quick before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind clicking subscribe and clicking that bell notification down below, let you know when I upload new videos. Also at the end of the video, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the products. The first product that I'm going to be putting on today is going to be my foundation. And real quick, before I came on camera, I did wash, moisturize, and prime my skin. Since my primer is not ColourPop, I'm not going to be showing it today on camera. I'll link it down below in the description box. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and look down there. But the first product I'm going to go with, like I said, is the foundation. And the foundation I picked up is their No Filter Foundation. It's in Fair 35 for me. I believe it comes in 40 plus shades at this point, which is a great color range. So it does have a little liquidy in the bottle, but I did go ahead and shake it up real quick. I'm gonna give it just a second to settle just in case we get a bunch of air bubbles in there. The really neat thing about this is, I love this pump, you turn it and it locks it. So you don't have to worry about you know putting it in a drawer or something like that and have any kind of accident with the pump since it doesn't come with a cap over it. I'm gonna go ahead and squirt it on here. And it is quite runny, like I thought, when you pump it out like that. But we'll see, coverage-wise, what it does for my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. And it is clean, it's just stained from, from other foundations I've used before. So I'm gonna be looking down just a little bit because I do have a mirror down here in front of me. That way I can see what I'm doing up a little bit closer. And I went with three pumps initially out of the bottle. We'll see if that's enough to cover the full face or not. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the foundation applied on its own. As you can see, it looks like, at least on my camera, that it's coming through with a little bit of a dewy shine to it, which is not what I normally go for, so it's a little bit different for me. I normally go for a very matte foundation. One of my favorites is the Fenty foundation. I really, really love that. I love a super matte look typically, so I'm interested to see where finishing the rest of this look takes me and how it comes out especially once I add their powder. Okay, the next product I'm gonna be going in with is going to be the uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealers, and I have two different shades I'm gonna be mixing today. This one's Light 14, and I have Fair 02. I use this as more of a highlight kind of thing. Also, I mix in because I find I have a hard time finding my perfect shade, so I usually have to mix them, whether it's Catrice, which I really love, their, their camo concealer, um, or this. So we'll go in and see um, what I think of these. Now, I have been told that these have been compared to the Tarte Shape Tape, which I kind of hope they don't have that mad of a finish to them because shape tape usually dries up quite a bit underneath my eyes and ends up settling in the fine lines that I have and I, that's the reason that I stopped using it because it, it just I didn't like the way it looked after a while so hopefully these are a little bit more hydrating we will find out so I normally just do it this way and then a couple over here a little bit down the nose I do a little bit above the lip and a little bit on the chin. People do go ahead and do it between their brows. I just don't. I never really have, so. Do whatever suits you, whatever makes you happy though. I'm just letting you know how I do my makeup. And that's the fun thing about makeup. It's being an artist, but using a face as a canvas. So, there's that. And then again, I'll take my beauty blender.
Okay, it does feel like it's starting to settle in just a little bit. Hopefully we can correct that here in a minute. We'll just let this kind of sit for a second. And then I'll follow it up with their powder. So, okay. So the next thing I'm going to be putting on is their no filter setting powder. And this comes in three different shades. I am in shade one, I picked up translucent. So it's a cute little powder. Now I have heard this compared to Cover FX. So I'm kind of excited to use it and see kind of what I think of it. My everyday go-to right now is usually the uh, Candid Anti-Pollution Powder. So we'll see if maybe this will dethrone that as, as my holy grail in my everyday makeup. And I usually just go in with my Beauty Blender, just put it on there and just lightly press it in. And the sifter definitely lets a lot of product come out or a little bit, however you want to do it. It doesn't seem so far, it doesn't get clogged, especially with the fact that my Beauty Blender is damp. Sometimes other sifters will get caked product from the dampness. And I'm not having that problem with this at all. Now, under the lights, it seems to be, I'm getting like a white cap. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Let me know down below. Is that something you're noticing with it? It does almost give like an airbrushed look looking in my mirror. And again, I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but I mean, it feels very good. When you put it on your fingers, it just feels so finely milled and so silky and just so, oh, it just feels really good. All right, guys, so there we go. I will be back in just a minute. I'm gonna hop off camera real quick because I don't have any highlighter or bronzer from ColourPop. So I'm gonna pop off camera real quick, throw on some bronzer, throw on some highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and we'll come back and we'll start with the eyes. All right guys, we're back and we're ready to start with the eyes. The bundle that I purchased is called the Your Face is Like Sunshine Bundle from ColourPop. It came with a palette, two of their Jelly Mutt shadows, and two of their uh, Luxe lipsticks. And the palette that came with it is their ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. Can we take one quick second to appreciate this packaging? So pretty. You look and it's got like the holographic around the edge and it's got the shades on the back. Um, another cool thing about this palette is it has three different kinds of shadows in one palette. It has a super shock shadow, it has pressed powder shadows, and pressed glitters. This is the front of the palette and here is the inside. Absolutely stunning. The shade range, the actual packaging itself on the inside, and isn't that so cute? It says you're pretty. So, okay, today I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the color Work It and Work It into my crease. So let me go ahead and start with that. And again, I'm going to be looking down at the mirror down here. One thing this would be really neat to have, it would be really neat to have a mirror, but I mean, there's so many other cool things about the palette. If I have in a mirror, not a big deal. Okay, I'm just gonna work this in. And the base that I used, if you don't start working with it right away, it does crease up, so it did do a little bit of creasing. And when I don't set it with a powder, I do more of a packing motion than a windshield wiper motion. The color scheme on this entire palette, though, is gorgeous, so. I wasn't actually gonna originally purchase this palette, I was gonna pass. And then I saw Raw Beauty Christie's video with this palette and the stunning eye look that she made. I decided I had to give it a try. If you guys aren't familiar with Raw Beauty Christie, go ahead and look her up, watch some of her videos, she's amazing. Go ahead and stop by and give her some love. And subscribe while you're there. I am so glad I did. I found her one day looking for tutorials on the Jaclyn Hill palette because I got it and I had so many ideas and just didn't quite know where to start. So I did some searches and I came across her videos and I subscribed to that day. So give her a look, check her out. Okay, now that we've got that step taken care of, the next shade I think I'm gonna go in with in the palette is 
the one down here in the lower left it's called icymi i think it's supposed to stand for in case you missed it but we'll find out i'm going to go ahead and use my morphe m421 i'm going to start packing it in the outer uh, quarter to half Okay, so the next shade we're gonna go in with is going to be the shade Catch Me, which is right here. And it looks like it balances somewhere between like a flesh tone color and a ballerina pink. It's a very matte shade. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with side to side, which is the Super Shock Shadow, to give a little bit of pop to the inner corners. For this step, I'm gonna be just using a little Wet n Wild brush that I have in my collection. And I'm just gonna go in in packing motions also. Okay guys, here is the eye look so far before the Super Shock Shadow is applied. I really love how they blend together. I love this palette in general so far. I love the color story. I'm really excited to you know, keep working with these shadows. I think this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite palettes for the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna put on the Super Shock Shadow and that's gonna be in the shade side to side right here in the palette. And I don't think my camera is doing this justice at all. It's a very light pink iridescent that's got multicolored, really, really fine glitter. Very pretty. I go ahead, I apply mine with my fingers. You don't have to, you can also use a wet brush. Do whatever works for you. I'm only gonna share what works for me and if that also works for you, that's great. So let's go ahead and jump in with the Super Shock. Does get kind of tough. I may have to go to a brush here in a minute and work on the inner corner. But I mean, can we look at that? Just absolutely beautiful. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take care of the under eye. For that, I'm going to go ahead and take a Sonia Kashuk brush. This is number 31. I believe they don't carry these anymore. I believe when I got it, it was on clearance at Target, but I'm not 100% sure. But I like it. It's just a little pointy brush. Good for getting it up under the eye. Also, it's good for lining the upper lash line, which I'm not going to do today. I didn't get any liner and I didn't pick up any mascara, so I won't be doing those on camera today. I don't even think I'm going to do any liner. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with mascara and then move on to the lips. But let's go ahead and hit this lower lash line. I think I'm actually going to mix, I'll mix Work It with West Side and make it a little bit deeper underneath. And I just go in and work it on the lash line underneath. Okay, and there's that. I like the mixture of the two. It came out a really pretty color and it went over and blended in in the corners pretty well. Okay, so that's gonna be the last product that I work with out of the palette. And real quick, I did get two of the Jelly Mutt shadows. I'm not gonna be using those today. I don't, I haven't had a lot of experience with them. I'm very excited. I got two colors. I got Big Ego, which is a purple, and it's got almost blue and green glitter to it. 
And then I got Close to You, which is pink and it has almost rose gold glitter to it. There is Big Ego. Very pretty. This one's gonna be Close to You. Very pretty. I love both of them so far. The colors are really pretty, but again, I may actually end up sticking with them as toppers, almost like I do the Super Shock Shadows. Both shades are very beautiful. I was super excited to get this one because the swatches and everything on ColourPop's website were really pretty. So it was kind of a bonus that this came in the bundle. And I will work more with these and I will let you know what I find out or kind of my feelings are on them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera again real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take care of my mascara. Do a little bit of uh, brow bone highlight also. Don't know if you guys noticed, there's not a whole lot of brow bone highlight possibilities here in this palette. So I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to throw the same product I use for my highlighter just up in the uh, brow bone area and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I went ahead and put some mascara on, threw a little bit of brow bone highlight on, and now it's time for the lipsticks. So I got two lipsticks with the bundle. I got Spring Roll and Tea Time. For today, I'm gonna stick with Tea Time. It goes better with the eye look that I have going, but I'll go ahead and swatch Spring Roll for you. And like, again, with a lot of their products, ColourPop has such amazing packaging. They just knock it out of the ballpark. With this, with our lipsticks, I don't know if you can see it, little stars on the packaging, also their logo on the tube. It's very heavy, very solid feeling packaging. Very easy to hold onto and stuff like that when you're applying it. And you get into the package. And on the lipstick, it has little stars engraved in it as well, which is adorable. And this, is spring roll and there is tea time swatched all right i'll go ahead and apply tea time now i did have some lip balm on my lips it feels like it's pretty much gone so All right, and there is tea time. It feels very smooth, very moisturizing, very creamy. No grittiness or anything like that to it. Glided on, awesome. I went over it a couple times to get this shade, but it feels very comfortable. Now it's not supposed to dry down or anything like that, so I mean through through normal daily activities, eating, drinking, and things like that, I'm sure it's going to come off. I'm gonna to have to reapply. I'll go ahead and let you guys know how I found the wearability down in the description box. All right guys, so here is the finished look that I created today with all these ColourPop products. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick recap of what I used and then I'll give you my impressions. So first thing we went in with was the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm in shade Fair 35 comes in over 40 shades and it's $12 and again the cute cute packaging but even better about the packaging is this pump that locks to keep from spills happening in your drawer. Next product were these concealers and no filter concealers from ColourPop. I have shade light 14 and fair 02. They are $6.50 and they come in over 40 shades as well. And Again I mix them because I have a hard time finding my perfect shade. Next product we went in with was the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This stuff's amazing. I can understand why they compared this to the Color FX Powder. I've tried that before. Both are finely milled. I feel like it gave almost an airbrushed look to my skin. I really like it. I'm gonna continue to use it. This might be my new holy grail. It might replace my Candid. I will keep you posted. <laughs> and then next we went in with the eye products from the Your Face is Like Sunshine Bundle, the $48 bundle from ColourPop's website. I went in with the um, Sweet Talk palette. It is their 12 shade palette with three different types of shadows. It has Super Shock, Pressed Powder, and Pressed Glitters. 
I didn't get into the glitters today. I didn't want to go dig out my glitter glue and all that, but I did go in with a super shock, which I'm hoping the camera's doing it justice. It's absolutely stunning in person. Absolutely love it. Definitely recommend picking up this palette. Seems like a perfect palette for summer. Also with the warm tones in it, I can see it, you know, going into fall quite easily as well. The other two shadow products I received in the bundle were these two Jelly Mutt shadows. And this one again is in Close to You and this one is in Big Ego. It's purple with like the green and blue glitter and then pink with the rose gold glitter to it. Again, I will see what I'm going to do with those. I don't know if I'm going to use them as shadow toppers or what I'm going to do with them quite yet. They're a very sheer formula. I'm just not quite sure if I can build them up to be, a, you know, an eyeshadow all their own. But I'll go ahead and let you guys know what I what I figure out with that. Again, if you guys have tried that, go ahead and let me know. And, you know, if you have any hints or tips, I'm always open to hear them. And I'm always excited to see what you guys come up with out there. Lastly, we had the lip products from ColourPop, the Lux lipsticks. We had it in Spring Roll and Tea Time. I'm wearing Tea Time right now again. I really love it. Formula is super creamy, super comfortable on the lips. I'm really super excited. I think these are going to be two, you know, new additions to my collection that I wear frequently. And overall, I'm very, very pleased with the products. Very happy. The lipsticks, by the way, are $7.50 a piece and the Jelly Mutt shadows are $8. I don't think I mentioned that yet. But overall, I love all these products. I highly recommend you give them a try, um, especially the Super Shock shadows. You can get those at a local Ulta store typically. Um, go in, give them a try. They come in many different colors. The formula is so unique, so buttery, so beautiful. I just, I really can't say enough how much I like them and I hope you'll like them as well. All right, guys, that is the end of another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Before you leave, I hope you'll subscribe, click the bell notification to let you know when I upload new videos. Also, hopefully you'll give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Um, anything else, any products you'd like me to try, go ahead and put that down in the um, comment box below. I'd love to see, like I said, what you guys are thinking, feeling, uh, products you're using and excited about, because I'd like to be excited and maybe try some new products as well. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Bye.